Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this video is brought to you by whokies.com. You guys know the drill, you've just finished building your brand new PC, you boot it up and bam that hideous activate windows watermark appears. And the worst part is you forgot to budget $200 for an activation key from Microsoft because you spent it all on RGB, but that's okay. Because you don't need to spend $200, you can pick one up from today's video sponsor whokies.com for a tenth of the price. The best part is you can use my code TT25 for 25% off, which takes this already cheap Windows 10 Pro key from $18 to $13. If you're in the UK like me, that's £11. You place your order, your activation code gets added to your orders page, you whack it into the Windows activation screen, and boom, you're fully activated, no more watermarks being burnt into your retinas. TT25 for 25% off, link in description. Welcome back, guys, to the channel. Yeah, how awesome was that freaking Nerf gun That was war? sick. <laughs> we actually have a big collection of uh, Nerf guns growing in our cabinet. Yeah, if you, you guys, guys wanna... if you guys want to yeah. see a video on that, let us know down below in the comments. We could maybe do a video, show you the collection that we've got. But yeah, it was sick. We picked up the mini gun the other day Two from Walmart. Yeah, we picked up one, <laughs> and then we came home, and it was Where like, do you know what would be like twice as good? Two. Hang and, on, show uh, them. They're in here. Look at it. This is a sneak peek at our current armory. <laughs> in fact, there's a sniper rifle somewhere as well that's oh, not in there. It's over here. Oh yeah, we keep it up here. Yeah, because it's it's too big. But this bad boy right here. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we also added this mirror and like living room entertainment slash wine area. This is actually going to be like a winery. We've been doing a lot of changes to the apartment because this is going to be a very important place for us to film too. Kind of like an extension of our studio. So where we can like kind of do like homey vlogs and all that stuff. So it's important to make it look nice and cozy. It's in progress. We'll probably give you guys like a tour maybe next month oh, when we've got wait, a little bit more wait, finished. But it's have, looking good. We have a video that's coming up. Uh, we're going to do our Christmas. Sh oh God, we're going to be doing our, our Christmas, Christmas shop shopping. video. And uh, we're gonna get uh, a Christmas tree and all kinds of Christmas decorations. This is gonna be Josh's first Christmas in the US. So we wanna make it look nice. But anyway, the point of today's video is not to show you our Nerf gun collection, but to show you this thing, which we picked up at Walmart. It was like a late night trip to Walmart, you know, when you go there at 11 p.m. You're just like, <laughs> what should we buy? We did pick up a good pizza as well. Oh, that pizza that was, was a really so good. good. Pizza. It was a family sized pizza. Yeah, we, we had it like over two days. But yeah. yeah, this thing, this is the X Rocker Nemesis RGB. You've probably heard of X Rocker before. Um, I've always been a bit dubious of the quality of them. Obviously, it's marketed as like a gaming chair but yeah. it's one of these cool ones that has like a, a spinny platform and it has speakers built into it and we saw it and it was like it's got rgb as well it's got bluetooth so we thought we'd pick it up it was actually on sale for i think we paid 160 for it yep it's supposed to retail for 200 although sometimes they inflate the price you know because mm -hmm. they they want you to buy it but today we're going to unbox it See what it's like, just give you our honest opinions on it, I guess. Yeah, but Josh and I were actually looking for one of these chairs on Wayfair, and we saw a few of them, and they were about two to $300, and they looked kind of meh. Yeah. So when we were at Walmart and I saw this, I was like, Josh, we have to get this for the channel so that we can review it, because I know there's a lot of console players out there for PlayStation would like this thing. that would absolutely love to see if this is worth buying. So I think we should go open it. Let's do it. Do you want to do the honors, or should I? Hmm. Should we do a rock, paper, scissors for it? Right, right. And we'll okay. do the best out of three, unless someone wins to begin with. Okay. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Dang it! I win! Okay. See, rock, paper, scissors, easy way to, to sort stuff out. <laughs> Actually pretty excited to see this thing. I know, I've wanted one of these for quite some time. And since it has RGB, I'm hoping- like, I actually have very low expectations so of this. <laughs> so I'm like, I? half of me is like, this is gonna be terrible. We'll see. All right, cool. We got some uh, instructions then. So it basically folds in half. Is that a freaking neon? It's a neon what bed? Is it? It's a neon bed. Do you see that? It looks like they do a whole range of products. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, this will be linked in the description, by the way. Mm -hmm. We got a speaker on the back of the chair. Yeah, so this is supposed to be the sub. At, and then it has some like tweeters in like the headrest, I think. Oh, this is where the RGB is supposed to be. Ah, oh, we're gonna have to build. Yes. Oh, wait, is this bubble wrap? Oh yeah, twist it. Oh, there's another piece there too. Uh, this looks like this is the 
bottom of the chair. Nuts and bolts. And then here we have the base and some like This looks like one of those like space hats. <laughs> <laughs> Let's build it. So first we're going to put the mounting plate on the bottom of the chair. <laughs> Next we have the mounty pole thing. I don't know what this is called. <laughs> if you know what this is, put it in the comments. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> All right, now we need to put on the bottom of the base. But to do that first, there is a little little uh, clip here that you have to take off, okay? Because you can't put it on there. So we don't need this for now. This this thing right <laughs> here, guys, with Nene was just trying to like shove it on top of there in a minute ago. It literally says, you see his label right here, please remove the cap before inserting the base. And uh, yeah, she's just like trying to shove it down. <laughs> Okay, final step. We've got to put on the armrests. All the animals are asleep. Mimi looks so cute. Oh my god. And there's Finley. Look at the cute doggo. So chair is finished. We've just got the power supply to unbox and then uh, we plug it in and set it up. Give you guys some first impressions. I'm really excited to see what the RGB looks like. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> I think it's got different modes. So you can select like RGB rainbow and then you can do all the colors as well. So here's some instructions. We've got the audio cable, so it's three and a half millimeter. And then we have the power cable right here. Okay, so just before we plug it in, let's do a first impressions on, on how it feels. Here we go. Okay. Oh, it actually tilts back. That's pretty cool. I think there's actually a piece of Velcro right here. There is, yeah. Is that pressed down now? Yes. There we go. Yeah, that kind of stops it from moving. That's better. Um, so it's a little bit smaller than we thought it would be. So if, maybe for like bigger people, I don't know if it would be that comfortable, but it actually feels pretty nice. Over on this side, if I spin it round. So over on the right side of the chair, we've got all the controls and the inputs and outputs. So this is for your power cable, which we'll plug in in a second. We've got the light button here. We've got the on off button. We've got input output for audio, control knob for bass, and this is for volume. Turn off everything. Oh my gosh. RGB. Ah! So there's a lot of other settings for the RGB. A lot of them actually, if you want to go through them. Pretty cool. Yeah, so I think there's like eight different colors and then obviously you've got your RGB stuff as well. But it, like looks, it looks pretty cool in the dark. All right, so I'm very excited to try this because I feel like I'm going to be the one that used this the most. What do you Ooh, think? I quite pretty like that. Pretty good. Yeah, we just need like a, a footrest or something. Yeah, I'll have to check whether they sell a footrest actually because that would be quite nice. Then you could uh, kick back enjoy some games. We thought we'd just give you a bit of a closer up look at some of the materials. So on the uh, RGB section here, we've got this like mesh material. And then next to this on the side, we've got this perforated section. Most of the chair is made of this faux leather material. It feels okay. It feels like very similar to like a cheap gaming chair, I guess you would purchase, but the build quality seems to be fine. We've also got this mesh on the backrest as well. I guess to help keep your back a little bit cooler. But now I think it's time to try it out for some actual games. Let's go. All right, let's hit pause. So we've just been spending a little bit of time gaming on this thing and playing some music as well. Music sounds pretty good. I would say the quality of the speakers is like average, the actual quality itself. But where we were really impressed is when we hooked this thing up to the PlayStation 5, you can see here, we've got some Hot Wheels Unleashed playing, which by the way is an awesome game. You should definitely try it if you haven't already. But you get such a lot of immersion from having these speakers right behind your head. It's only like a 2.1 surround sound system but the speakers are like right there and you've also got the sub in your back as well. So when you're playing games, you get this really nice surround sound effect, which is just great. You said you actually prefer it to our surround sound system that we have for the TV, didn't you? I, I do, you wanna crank up the volume as high as it yeah, goes? Yeah, check this out. Also has a bass control knob as well, we'll whack that up. 
Like, I'm trying to shout over this, it's that loud. But yeah, Nene said she actually prefers it to our surround sound system, which cost around $800. So obviously the quality of it, like I said, is not as good. But for that immersion factor, I think like the $160 alone for it is Worth great it. for the, just for the speakers. And then you've obviously got a chair as well, which I think you need a footrest for. You need one, definitely. Yeah. So what do we think? $160, yay or nay? Or nay nay, yay or nay nay. I was trying to convince us to start a series called yeah. yay or nay nay. And that would probably be a good that series. That would be good. Um, I'm gonna give it a, a yay. A yay? Yeah, I think $160 is a great buy for a gaming chair, especially if you're doing console gaming in your living room or yeah. something. I yeah. would say like build quality is okay. Yeah. Feels a little bit on the cheap side, but the actual build quality itself is fine. Um, it's fairly comfortable. Yeah. Like we said, you probably need a footrest for it. That would be great. But the standout feature is definitely the speakers and that like 2.1 surround sound effect. Sounds awesome. And the RGB. Yes. And Joel, if you're watching, we, we met up with, um, well, we didn't meet up. We just met this random guy in Walmart called Joel. You remember? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's and, right. And he was like, yo, can you tell me whether it's good? So we yeah. got his numbers. He was a worker at Walmart and he wasn't sure if he wanted to buy the chair. And we're like, hey, we're YouTubers. We're actually going to buy it and review it. So if you want, give yeah. us your number and we will send you like the video or pictures of it to let you know if you should buy it or not. It's pretty good. So yeah, if you guys want to pick up the chair, we'll have it linked down below in the description. Hope you all enjoyed the video today. It was another fun one to make. So I guess drop a like rating if you enjoyed. Helps the channel out. And we have a message from the gnomes. What's the message? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. <laughs> okay, bye. Say bye. Bye. Hey, Phil. Oh, hey, Bill. Do you think they should buy the gaming chair? Yes, I do think they should buy the gaming chair. It's very good. Really? Yes, and it's on a discount, I think. Unless Walmart is trying to scam us. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not $200. <laughs> <laughs>